Well, let's see. When you hear about the development of commercial space, names like Elon Musk with SpaceX or Jeff Bezos with Blue Origin probably come to mind. Yeah. But did you know there's a small local business that has worked in space for decades long before others were actually grabbing those headlines as well. Yeah, this is really special. So for this week's Mission Possible, Brandon Simmons takes us inside the labs of Zinn Technologies as they work on the future of science in space. For decades, NASA was the only route to space. And a local engineering company has been along for the ride since getting their first NASA contract in 1969. Zen Technologies engineered spaceflight hardware, power, and propulsion systems on the space station, the shuttle, and satellites. They are a leader in microgravity science with over 400 payloads flown into space. We understand spaceflight hardware environments. We understand the NASA requirements, but we're also folding in this commercial world now that demands that you go a little bit faster and maybe take a little bit more risk. They're not building their own spacecrafts. They are building the systems that spacecrafts need to work safely. Systems proven on NASA missions that are receiving attention from new space companies. The phone is currently ringing at a pretty good clip right now from the uh, commercial companies. Elon hasn't called yet, but maybe he will. For example, SAMS, or the Space Acceleration Measurement System that is aboard the International Space Station. It's a network of sensors tracking how the station reacts during daily operations. If you think of a car, it's like the check engine light, but for space. And if it changes from uh, a normal operation or normal movement, that's indicative of possibly a problem so then you can take care of it. Zen is putting their tech on multiple commercial space stations, preparing for when the ISS is taken out of service over the next decade. The technology is become, becoming obsolete on the space station. All of the computers up there have been up there for about 20 years, and we just need to start, start from scratch. One of the largest projects, the George Washington Carver Science Park aboard Starlab the first science park in space that Zen will operate for researchers. We're building all the facilities, the laboratories, um, just like you see here in our building. The, um, you're going to see those laboratories in, in space. And how will all these space stations get cargo from Earth? On Dream Chaser, a reusable space plane with power systems from Zen. Working on the future of science in space is good for business here on the ground. We anticipate uh, hiring hopefully over the next two to three years somewhere between 100 and 150 highly skilled jobs uh, here in Northeast Ohio. So we're certainly excited about that. Opening a new frontier in space exploration. If it goes on this current you know, trajectory, you know, we will be involved with a lot of the new programs coming down uh, that commercial space is, uh, is looking at. I'm Brandon Simmons. Three news. Wow, amazing technology there.